super excited today to announce an integration with Chainlink VRF, enabling two super cool new features for wildcards. But before we get going on those features, let's talk about what on earth Chainlink VRF is for a second, in case you're like, what's that? Well, Chainlink VRF, VRF also known as Verifiable Random Functions, is actually a really cool new product by Chainlink that allows us to actually have randomness on the blockchain but the real kicker is we can actually verifiably prove that this randomness is in fact random to our users and for those of you who've been in the blockchain space for a while now you'll know that this is a really a massive leap in the space as randomness in the blockchain before was was never really an option or something us developers could make use of so we're super excited that we now have this Chainlink vrf product available as we can introduce some new features and wildcards based on randomness so let's get to those features before we get to these features let's actually quickly tell you a little bit about wildcards in case you don't know what it is wildcards is this really cool platform that me and my friends have been working on that allows us to raise more and more funds for animal conservations around the world that's really our mission and as you can see all of these wild cards over here are non-fungible tokens and they are actually always for sale and they use this harbinger tax mechanic to literally raise money every single second for all of our global conservation partners so as every second goes past we're raising more and more money for conservation which is super exciting and if you want to learn more about that mechanic we can give you some reading on that but there's no time for that right now anyways users can buy these animals and contribute towards conservation they can have their user profiles and another cool thing is you get loyalty tokens for every day that you hold a wild card. You get a loyalty token for holding it. It shows your contributions. We have leaderboards based on how much you've contributed. And it's really a fun and gamified experience to help drive more funds towards conservation. So what are these two features that Chainlink VRF allows us to introduce? Number one, I'm going to be talking about the features it allows in our DAO. So a DAO is a decentralized autonomous organization. If you don't know what that means, don't worry. Basically, it's about governance. So we want to conduct, conduct our governance on chain and help our users decide where we think funds should go. And to that extent, we have some wildcards where all the funds raised by that wildcards sits in this DAO and month to month, all of our users use their loyalty tokens to vote which conservation wild tomorrow fund send a verda which conservation the funds should go for now we obviously want to actively incentivize people to participate in this governance process and the way we're going to do that thanks to chaining vrf is one of our voters at the end of every month is going to be able to receive an ultra rare wild card prize thanks to their participation in the vote. And in this way, we hope to have more and more people coming on board and, and voting as to the conservation they think should receive this boost of extra funds. So that's the first really cool way. And you can see you can only vote if you're the owner of a wild card. That's one of our cyber defenses because we use quadratic voting. But if you want to just play around with our systems and understand with it, I'd really recommend you head over to the Gorilla test net. I'll switch from the main net to the Gorilla network. And over here, I'll be able to vote and you can buy wild cards and you can just play around with the system. So we think that's really cool. The next really cool feature, and before I go back, I'm just going to switch again to mainnet. The next really cool feature, so number one is the DAO. The second really cool feature is that we're going to launch a new line of wildcards. So right now, our always for sale wildcards, as every second goes past, are raising more and more funds for conservation. But we also want to enable a new line of wildcards that are based on this randomness. So you can buy an egg and we'll have this egg hatching mechanic. And by buying one of these, you'll be able to receive a random wild card. And this will be able uh, to allow you to start your own virtual conservation. So that's another cool use case where we can launch a brand new number of wildcards and really scale the number of wildcards in the system. And in that way, increase the funds going to all of our conservation partners. We have a number of really awesome conservation partners we're supporting, and we just want to get more and more conservations on board and get more and more funds out to our conservation partners who are doing 
awesome work. So yeah, we're super grateful for Chainlink VRF to enable these two different new features and we're super excited to grow the platform. So visit wildcards.world and come start supporting conservation literally today. And we look forward to having you there.